Go sleeping versus crib sleeping pros and cons. Hello everyone and welcome back to my mum's choice. Today we have an important topic that many new parents grapple with co sleeping versus crib sleeping. It's a decision that can have a significant impact on your baby's safety, sleep quality and your own well-being. So, stay tuned as we explore the pros and cons of both options to help you make an informed choice. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our parenting tips and advice. Pros of co-sleeping. Let's start by looking at the pros of co-sleeping. Many parents choose this option because it fosters a strong emotional bond with their baby. The closeness can help babies feel secure, and it's incredibly convenient for nighttime feedings. Additionally, some studies suggest that co-sleeping can promote better sleep for babies as they feel the warmth and presence of their parents. Cons of co-sleeping. But, of course, there are downsides to co-sleeping as well. Safety is a significant concern. Babies can get trapped in the bedding or between the mattress and the wall, leading to accidents. Another con is that co-sleeping might make it harder for both parents and babies to get quality sleep as one person's movements can disturb the other. Pros of crib sleeping. Now, let's talk about the pros of crib sleeping. Cribs are designed to provide a safe sleep environment for your baby. They meet strict safety standards, reducing the risk of accidents. Crib sleeping can also encourage independence and better sleep habits in babies. They have their own space to sleep, which can lead to longer and more restful nights for everyone. Cons of crib sleeping. However, crib sleeping does have its drawbacks. Some babies might not like the separation and can become fussy or anxious when placed in a crib. Moreover, parents often find it less convenient for nighttime feedings as you'll need to get out of bed and walk to the crib making the right choice so which option is right for you the truth is there is no one size fits all answer it depends on your family's unique needs and preferences some parents even choose a middle ground approach like a co-sleeper bassinet to strike a balance remember that safety should always be a top priority if you choose to co-sleep ensure a safe sleeping environment and follow recommended guidelines as we wrap up today's discussion on co-sleeping versus crib sleeping we hope you now have a better understanding of the pros and cons of each option make sure to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below